What is up fam? Welcome back to another episode of the trailer build. Today, we're gonna paint some walls. I've got a couple little space heaters going. We're up to about 48 degrees, probably warm enough to paint. We'll just get going on it and see what happens. This is no longer paint that. I knew it was old, but I didn't know it was that old. So I have different paint I'm gonna go grab. So I've got the other paint. This is the paint we used in our living room. So now it'll kind of just feel like an extension of our home. That's paint. All right, let's jump back in. expect when you're painting OSB uh, it'll get the job done and I think once there's more stuff in here it'll look better but uh, I think I'm gonna call that good for the paint you can obviously st still see the texture of the walls nice light gray and once I get all the trim back in here that'll make everything look a lot nicer so on that I'm gonna call it a day got some other things to do but we will come back out here either tomorrow or the next day and we'll do the framing for the bathroom. All right, we back out here. Time to put in some framing. I've got it drawn out where I'm putting this. You can kind of see that line right there. That's gonna to come to here. This little section will be the shower. And then we're gonna put the uh, toilet right here. And then I've got this line drawn as well. Time to make a couple measurements and get going. I'm hoping the cable for the solar that I wanna run down through the ceiling uh, will come today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put in this wall until I can finish that ceiling and I can't put up that ceiling until I run that cable down through the roofs. Yeah we'll just get going building that first wall and hopefully when Amazon gets here they have that cable. finish nailer. I don't have a framing nailer so just attack them together. I put some long finishing nails in and now I'm gonna throw a screw in there. Between that and the drywall they should be nice and tough. Also Amazon came and no cable. I think it'll probably come tomorrow but we'll do what we can without the ceiling today. Oh, 
that they were talking about fall. earlier. It's secured to the trailer. I'm gonna throw some glue underneath, probably down the side and up top, and then we'll, we will put a few screws in too. It's not going anywhere. So I remembered I uh, just recently took the paneling off the back of our island in the kitchen and put up some shiplap. So I had that lying around and now I don't have to paint any. So I am just going to throw this up and I have a spare piece too to do the outside of the other wall. And I wanted to get something waterproof for the inside of the shower, like the other side of the wall. Um, so I'll just get something put there and there and I don't have to paint anything else. I feel like I'm at a weird point in the project where it's like, I want to finish all the like foundational work before I start doing finishing work, but I think I'm running out of foundational work, so I might get to actually start doing some of the fun stuff here soon. But I'm going to get this tacked on and then we'll cut off the excess. I'm kind of hoping I can just run a blade down and score it. I'm going to snap it off, but we'll see. I think I might put in the cabinet now because I'm gonna want to do trim and stuff around the cabinet. So we'll throw that in so we know where our ceiling trim is gonna go. And I'll probably put a little piece of cord around in there just to hold that on better. Came inside to build this much warmer and also a nicer surface so I don't damage stuff. So this was just a relatively cheap cabinet I ordered from Wayfair. It'll be perfect for holding the, obviously, dishes and stuff, whatever else we want secure while we're traveling. So yeah, let's just uh, slap it together and get it out there. bad boy up right here. Just gotta go measure a couple things then we will start hanging it up.
more added strength. I added uh, a bead of that glue along the bottom and along the top. And then I'm gonna throw a couple screws in the support that's down at the bottom too. Originally I was thinking I was gonna, when I epoxied the floor, I was gonna go up over the piece of trim at the bottom. But I think I'd rather have the aesthetics of the white trim there. So uh, no trim today, but I'm gonna order that uh, epoxy here soon, probably in the next couple days. And hopefully on my next uh, time off, I will be able to do that. Waterproof paneling and stuff is real thin and expensive. So I think I'll probably just end up doing drywall on the other side and then I ordered some gray uh, flex seal so we'll just paint it with flex seal and it'll be waterproof let's finish throwing this together and, and then that'll be it for today satisfied with today's work yeah call that a call that a day as always thanks for watching hit that like subscribe hit the bell so you know when the next videos are coming out uh, leave a comment and i will see you guys next time